Well, it was the posties that used the trademark, come rain, hail or shine. Well, as far as harness racing is concerned, come rain, hail or shine, the show must go on, despite being just four weeks shy of giving birth to her second child. Trying to carry Ann Morris is still out there doing the hard yards, and I caught up with Kerry to discuss her chances on Friday night. Well, Kerry ann just a month ago before you give birth to your second child, how are you feeling at this stage? <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit over it and ready to, ready to have this baby. You loved being out there participating. How have you been going over the last seven or eight months not being out there competing against everyone? Because we all know how much of a tough competitor you are. Um, on days like today where it's raining, it's probably nice to be on the sidelines. So I'm um, not complaining about today. But, um, yeah, no, I still enjoy watching them. And, um, yeah, no, the boys are doing a really good job. But and you're still working as hard as ever. Um, well, the work never ends, so um, anyone that has horses would know that. So, yeah, no, it's um, it's a 24-7 job. Carrie ann as I said in the intro, the show must go on and you've still got to get out there in these awful conditions to train the horses. Yeah, no, we haven't had very good conditions probably the last five days, but, um, you know, everyone's been in the same boat and we've all had to manage to, to do the best we can. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can, you know, keep them performing the best they can and, um, you know, we can't help help what the rain gods do. On Sunday night you had an unexpected but certainly a welcomed visitor. Yeah, on um, on Sunday Troy, um, or he called Robert probably about 12 o'clock and um, was getting a little bit worried about his his place um, going under and so we, we jumped in both the cars and went over and, and got his horses out and he's always there to help us if we ever need help and you know the, you know, the shoe's on the other foot too. That's one thing about harness racing and the participants carry in one big family. Yeah, I think that's um, when people are in need, everyone's quite happy to get in and help each other. So, um, you know, we're more than happy to, to go help when, when people need help. We've got a number of runners in on Friday night, Kerry, and kicking off with Pete said so in the opening event, probably tested in this company? Um, yeah, he's probably, you know, probably not going as bad as what his form suggests. Um, he did win his first start back and and probably been then put in a bit harder graded, but um, I'd like to see him driven nice and quiet this week and probably along the fence, and I, I think he'll hit the line good. Over to race four, probably a similar story with Dan's for Glory. Look at the numbers next to his name and say, oh, I'm not going too well, but last time out, seventh behind Cash and Flow, beaten less than 10 metres. Yeah, he's probably one of my favourites. Old, um, we call him Tommy, but um, he never puts in a bad run. He's, I know his number's probably not the best beside him, but he's been a bit of a dropping grade for him now. And um, yeah, now looking forward to him um, hopefully building his form back up. Over to race six, you look at Bronski Bell, a very consistent mare, but surprisingly, she hasn't won since August 2019. No, she's she's overdue for a win, and um, she is racing well again. Um, we've we've have elected we've been taking her to Newcastle just to build a confidence back up and I think um, we're thereabouts with her again so yeah looking forward to her getting back here to Menangle and um, you know she she's very capable of running very good races. You also have better to be tricky in the same race another very consistent performer without winning for Lucky Lodge. Yeah he, he is very consistent um, he just lacks a little bit of high speed and he's always there and he's um, he's always punching away. In the trot race, seven gold sovereign went around here today and wasn't disgraced. No, he probably needed that run too. He's probably um, over the last week he's missed a li little bit of work and um, he he was off the back market today. So yeah, he'll go around on Saturday and um, just run his consistent race. Over to race eight, the last drawn out a little bit wide. Bailey's night. If you forgive his last performance, his form prior to that was very good. Yeah, no, he's run here, I think, um, in the ladies' run race. Um, he punched the fence and, and raced really, really well. And um, before last week's, uh, last time out, his, his runs were very consistent. So, yeah, no, expect another good outing for him. Which one would you suggest is the one to have something on, even on an each-way basis? Um, I really like um, Bronski Bell, but um, she, probably because she's one of my favourites as well. But, yeah, I think she's she's... Probably about due for Nelly a win. Apart from the horses, Kerry must have been very pleased with the way Robbie represented the stable as far as the team teal was concerned. Yeah, no, we always um, we like to, you know, put our hand up for team teal, and um, I think the boys really done their part for the team this year. And um, you know, well, New South Wales in general raised a, a really good amount for team teal. 
And Josh Gallagher's going ahead and leaps and bounds. He's certainly one of the uh, stars of the future. Yes, no, he's um, he's driving very, very, very good. And um, as I said, we're very lucky to have him in our stable and um, to be our second driver. And and when Rob can't drive our horses or he has other other commitments, Josh, we're more than happy to put Josh on. We certainly can't forget the support you're getting from Alicia Bond and also Andrew Towers. Yeah, and um, Josh's partner Alicia, she's she's great help. She's um, she lives with us, and you know, when whenever we need help and after work and before work, she's always there to to lend a helping hand. And then Andrew's there, always doing a good job too. Any sense of you slowing down over the next four weeks? Uh, probably not. And then probably when the baby comes, we probably definitely won't be stopping. So, birth certificate stamped, harness racing trainer driver. Ah. <laughs> uh, Whatever, I'm never. Gonna, I'm not going to be pushy with my kids, whatever they want to do. But um, you know, you'd probably like to see them follow in your footsteps. But if they don't, it's not the end of the world. I think there's a very good chance they carry, and we wish you and Robbie, of course, all the very best of luck. No worries, thank you.